Hello and welcome to my channel, Thrive with Lauren. Today you're joining me from the beautiful Elevate Yoga Studio here in Ottawa. And I'm going to be guiding you through a nice, gentle chair yoga practice that you can do at home. So let's get started. So I would totally recommend finding a chair at home, uh, but you could also do this on the couch potentially so you can get creative, use a wall. So there's lots and lots of options for you. So when you're ready, find your way uh, into a comfortable seat. And I would recommend if you're on a chair or on the couch to bring your feet a bit forward. So you really want your feet to be rooted down to start. And then let's bring both palms over top of the knees and just draw the shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, draw the shoulders back and down. So we're gonna do that a few times just to start to arrive here in the present moment. Taking a deep breath in and exhale out. Inhale and exhale. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, breathe in and exhale, release. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Beautiful. Let's reach the arms up. And then exhale, let's slowly start to twist. So let's first bring the palms in towards the heart. And then from here, you're going to ground through your feet, keep your spine nice and tall as you shift towards the right. So you're gonna to shift towards your right side. And what you're gonna do here is not shift with the hips, you're just gonna shift through the mid-back region. Taking a deep breath in here. Deep breath out, exhale. Another deep breath in and exhale back towards center. We'll shift to the other side. So again, we're gonna to start to shift towards the left through our mid spine. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, breathe in and exhale out. Another deep breath in and then exhale back through center. Beautiful. Let's start to build on. Inhale, arms will bring up. <laughs> Exhale, start to twist over towards the side. So you'll bring your left palm down, reach the right palm behind you. If you'd like, you can even bring your palm, your forearm towards the chair to come into a deeper stretch and gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale, let's bring the arms back towards center and then exhale to shift towards the other side. We're gonna do that a few times together. Inhale, arms reach up. And then exhale, shift to right. Inhale, rise. Exhale, left. One more time. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. And exhale, left. Reach arms up, exhale, lower palms towards the knees. From here, we're going to make our way into goddess on the chair. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to start to shift one foot out and then the other. From here, you're going to come a bit forward onto your chair and then ground through the feet, bring both palms in towards the heart. Engage padabanda, so you're going to engage your footlock, grounding through the feet, uh, grounding through the outer edges, the heels, really feeling solid here. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. If you'd like an extra challenge or to try something different, you could come a little bit farther up off your chair and then maybe starting to lift and then lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Maybe doing that one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Let's hold here in our goddess squat. So maybe you're lowered on the chair. Maybe you're lifted. So wherever you are, we're going to hold. Remembering that whatever you choose is perfect as you are. So to remember to meet yourself where you're at. Holding for five, four, 
three, two, and one. Slowly start to bring the knees together, slide a bit farther down your chair, and then we'll move into our next postures, which will really be meant to get into our hips, our hip flexors a little bit. So we're gonna come into our figure four shape. So to get into that, you're gonna draw your right knee in towards your chest. Let's just start to massage it out a little bit here. So you can really use the support of your chair to lengthen through your spine. Make some gentle circles for your knee. And then you're going to start to draw the right foot just below the left knee and tend your right thigh away. So here you have a few options. So you could come into a cactus, you could bring the palms out, you could come into a stretch by catching one of your triceps. So whatever you decide, we're gonna stay here for five breaths. Five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Slowly start to let that go. Let's release the right foot and then draw your left knee in towards the heart. From here, you'll start to make those gentle circles. Maybe starting to massage the sit bones too. We sit a lot on our sit bones and we're sitting now, but seeing where you can use your chair to really massage the glutes. And then we will move into our figure four. Place your left foot just below the right knee. Gently intend your left knee away from you. And then you can bring your arms into whatever shape. If you did do the tricep sh uh, shape, just make sure to do it on the other side. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, so you can start to let that go. And then we are going to do some standing postures with the chair. So I'm gonna show you how that looks. So when you're ready, we'll start to come up and we're going to come towards the back of the chair. So from the back of the chair, you can start to come into a wide-legged position. So you'll start to bring your legs out wide, okay? So you're gonna bring your legs out wide towards the chair. And then from here, you're going to uh, keep your left toes facing in, but turn your right toes out, okay? So you're gonna turn your right toes out. And then from here, you're going to start to make your way into a warrior two. From here, you'll lower your right forearm down. You can use the support of your chair here, maybe pressing into the chair to support, and then inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Breathing in, breathing out. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Rise up. Let's turn the feet to face each other and then start to uh, turn the left foot out. So we're coming into our warrior two on the other side, Virabhadrasana two. Slowly start to lower your left arm down, reach the right arm forward, maybe using the chair to support you instead. Holding here. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, let's start to rise up, warrior two, start to turn the toes in, and then from here, so I'm actually gonna turn the chair so you can see me, and you can start to come into a forward fold on the chair. So you're gonna bring your feet out, and then slowly fold. Breathing in. Breathing out. If you like, you can bring your palms further down. And then slowly start to come back up. Beautiful. 
So from here, we are going to move into some other standing postures. So let's come into a lunge. So you can start to step your right foot back, left knee in, and then we'll just start to gently pulse here. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. From here, you can slowly start to pivot the right foot down, reach the left arm up, exhale, start to come up, warrior two. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Slowly start to pivot on the back toes, bring your right palm forward, step right foot forward, and let's switch sides. So from here, we'll pulse five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, slide the left foot down. From here, you'll start to come into your warrior two, and then exhale, slowly come forward. Inhale, lift, turn the back toes, step left foot forward. Inhale here, and exhale. Beautiful, let's start to build onto that. So you can step your right foot back, from here, you could stay here or maybe start to play with grounding through your left foot as you pick your right foot up. From here, you could even push the chair forward and then sort of come into this warrior three variation. So you wanna turn the right toes forward. Breathe in, breathe out. So you can keep a generous bend in your left knee as well and then slowly start to come forward. Let's shift side. So let's bring the left foot back. From here, you could start to ground through your right foot, lift up, turn left toes forward. One, two, three, four, and five. Beautiful. All right, let's come back onto our chair and let's start to cool off. So from our chair pose, let's just take a few moments to come into stillness. So we've been really active, standing, using our chair for support. Now let's start to get a bit more rooted, start to slow things down and move through some more gentle movements. Breathing in, breathing out. From here, we're going to bring our palms together and then start to interlace the fingers and then we'll start to make some circles. So moving into this sort of wrist stretch. You can start to wave it up like a snake, for example, or a cobra. And then let's switch the cross of the index fingers, moving through the same sort of thing. Beautiful. All right, let's send the palms forward. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Let that go. And then let's stretch our wrists a little bit more so you can bring the fingertips in and then we'll start to pulse them forward. Faster, 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 faster. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. It's probably feeling a little bit of heat here. So let's do a few more gentle stretches. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come into a eagle pose, but on our chair. So what you're going to do is cross the right knee over the left, and then we're going to cross the right arm over left arm. Okay, from here we can maybe start to lift up a little bit, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, start to draw in. Let's do that one more time, inhale, and exhale. Let's hold here for five, 
four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's start to open the arms, open the legs through goddess. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And then bring the knees together. Let's switch sides. So left knee over right. Let's bring left arm over right. And then start to bring the arms up, gaze up, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, dive in. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Open. Beautiful. All right, knees come together. And then from here, we're going to start to close down the eyes, maybe soften the gaze. And just take a few moments in silence to really absorb the full benefits of your practice. And absorbing the support that the chair can give you for your practice and how it can make things different, maybe challenging, maybe more easeful. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing your time, energy, practice. I really hope you liked today's chair practice, and I hope to see you soon.